Hey everybody, welcome back to Overland Florida. I'm Kevin. Today I'm doing a product review. I was sent this 12 volt refrigerator by a company named Joy Tutus. They're off Amazon. They've sent me products in the past. I believe my solar panel and charge controller actually came from them. But I've had this refrigerator plugged in for a few weeks now and it's been running really well. I'll be honest with you, when I opened it up, I was very skeptical. Um, it seems really cheap plastic. I don't believe it's insulated well, but let me tell you, this thing has been running nonstop. It's been running between uh, 32 and 34 degrees. And if we open up inside, it is definitely cold. There's even ice forming right here on the sides. Ice. So, this is a good refrigerator if you want it, you know, in a man cave or if you have it um, thrown in the back of your truck or you want to take it camping and plug it in somewhere. But if you're going to have this, say, in the bed of a truck or in a camper or somewhere where you're going to be sleeping next to it, it is pretty loud and I believe since it's not maybe the best insulated it does run more than a higher end refrigerator it cycles more often because it doesn't keep the temperature but as you can see right here it's been in that 32 degrees and it hasn't missed a beat but those are just some of the things I noticed off the bat was uh, whenever I'm just sitting here in my shop watching YouTube um, I noticed that this thing does kick on quite often more often than the other refrigerators that I have plugged in in here and it is louder so those are just two of the few things that I've noticed other than that um, just like any other refrigerator you're gonna get a little owner's manual this does run off 110 and you do get a plug right here to run off 12 volt and it just shut off it's really quiet so we'll see uh, how much longer before it turns on and it turned off so it went from 34 to 30 degrees in what maybe a minute minute and a half and I had the lid open for a second or two and this lid is reversible, so no matter which way you want to put this on, you can open it from the left, open it from the right. So let's talk about construction while we're waiting for it to turn back on. Um, it is constructed like a lot of the other brands. And let's take a little hammer here. It's definitely not plastic. It's pretty, pretty sturdy. I think the hinge, the hinge is plastic. That's the only thing that really worries me. But then again, it can pop off and come on this side so you can open it from the left or open it from the right. But that's probably the only weak point that I see. Other than that, the compressor just turned on. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But like I said, the lid is the only thing I worry about. There is a rubber gasket right here to help keep the coolness in, but the lid itself just doesn't feel like there's any insulation or anything in it. But then again, this thing is sub $300. I think it might be like $275 and I'm probably gonna get like a code for, uh, I don't know, 10, 15% off. So you can probably get it even cheaper than that. Um, at that point, I, I would buy this. Just go easy on the lid. And the rest of it, the construction is just up to par with all the other other brands and stuff like that. Really nice carry handles and everything. Let's look at the bottom. Oh, let's see. Got some nice little feet right there on the corners. Look like we got a stainless steel bottom. Other than that, I mean, there's really not much to say about it. Like I said, I, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I did notice it does sound a little bit louder than the higher end or even the mid-grade refrigerators, and it does seem to cycle a lot. But there's no doubt that, um, that it's getting cool. Like I said, there's ice right here, ice cold water bottles. If I lift them in here for probably another day or two, these would probably start freezing over. So let's just look at these features real quick. It says right here, hold it for three seconds to turn on. All right, it's on. It's set to 30 degrees. You can use the plus or the minus to set that temperature. It'll go all the way down to negative four. So let's see if it comes up on the LCD screen. All right, the compressor should turn on when it stops flashing. There you go. Compressor turned on. The compressor's not that loud. It's just louder than some of the higher end quieter refrigerators. Um, so that's the temperature control. As you can see right there, there's an H. So there's a high, medium, and low, and that's for the battery. So say you have this hooked up to your truck battery, an RV battery, or a battery just at your campsite. You can set this for high, medium, or low, and this refrigerator is gonna read the power supply battery. So if you're using your truck and you don't wanna get stranded, 
you set this refrigerator at medium or even low. I've even set my truck at low and had my refrigerator drain the battery all the way down to the refrigerator automatically shuts off. That way you still have enough power in your vehicle battery to start it and you don't get stranded. So that's a pretty cool feature and it's nice to see on a refrigerator this cheap. And when I say cheap, not necessarily quality wise, like I said, the base, everything like that strong, the, the lid can use some work. It's got a nice rubber gasket, but um, there's really not much more to say. I've owned, you know, five or six refrigerators like this and uh, they are getting better. Even the cheap ones are getting much better. Um, I actually have a friend that has one of my old ones that were cheap and that thing is still ticking. It's still in the back of their truck. So, um, I, like I said, this thing I want to say is less, it's le definitely less than $300. I want to say it's like $275 and maybe I can get a discount code to get even cheaper and if you're just going to use the refrigerator I don't know you can't maybe two three four you know 15 times a year uh, this would be a good refrigerator to have if you don't want to break out a thousand dollars for a higher end refrigerator like the ARV right there so on this end you got the one for let's just say 275 bucks that's going to get the job done goes down to negative four degrees and then you have this one over here that in its prime was uh, roughly a thousand dollars and the same, this one will go all the way down to negative four or negative seven, I don't remember. But you can see in here, um, same thing. There's a little bit of ice forming in there. So Joy Tutus is an Amazon seller. And with that being said, you can get a hold of them if you ever have a uh, problem with your product. Um, I've always emailed them or anything and they responded back real quick, even in the middle of the night. Um, they're quick to warranty things out and get you a new product on the way. So um, if you're weary about this refrigerator and um, you buy it, just to test it, maybe you don't like it, no questions asked. Um, I have had no problems with their customer service. So that is one good thing I can say about the company, as well as their products for entry level campers or overlanders or whatever you wanna call yourselves. Um, it's a good product, the refrigerator. I've had this thing plugged in for two weeks and believe it or not, it's actually outlasted this refrigerator sitting on the ground. Um, they both came at the same time, I plugged them both in and this cheaper refrigerator, lower end, actually outlasted one of the mid-grade refrigerators that are sitting on the floor right there. So I'm waiting to send that one back. They're gonna send me another refrigerator with Joy Tutus. I didn't even have to send this one back. So, you know, it's one of those things they're probably all made in the same factories anyway. And, you know, sometimes you get a dud, sometimes you get a good refrigerator. I happen to get a good refrigerator. So, you know, only time will tell. So thanks for this uh, non-traditional review. Um, a lot of times in the past, I've just opened up boxes and showed you the items. And that's only because that's at the request of the company that sends me the product. They'll say they'll want an unboxing or something. But um, this time I went a little different. I uh, opened up the stuff um, a couple weeks ago. Some of them were opened up a month ago. And I plugged them all in. And I've just been hanging out in the shop, putting waters in them, taking waters out, and turn them on and off and messing with the temperatures. So um, I put them through the paces as much as I could and the amount of time uh, needed to uh, make the review.